In the heart of the desert where the golden sands meet the clear blue of the Nile, there lies a land of timeless wonders. This is Egypt, the cradle of civilization. For millennia it has stood as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, its monuments and culture echoing the stories of an era long past yet not forgotten. Egypt's history is a chronicle of human achievement, a narrative written on the walls of its ancient temples and in the sands of its vast deserts. The tale begins in the pre-dynastic period over 5,000 years ago when the first settlements appeared along the banks of the Nile. These early Egyptians, driven by the need to survive in a harsh environment, laid the foundation of a civilization that would endure for centuries. The Old Kingdom, often referred to as the Age of the Pyramids, followed. It was a time of unprecedented architectural accomplishments, the most iconic of which is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Standing tall and proud, these structures are an enduring testament to the ingenuity and determination of their creators. Egypt's Middle Kingdom witnessed a resurgence of art, literature, and architecture. It was a period when the pharaohs began to portray themselves more as shepherds of their people rather than as gods. This shift in ideology led to the creation of some of Egypt's most stunning artistic works and solidified its status as a beacon of culture and learning. The New Kingdom was Egypt's Golden Age, a period of prosperity and power. It was during this time that many of Egypt's most famous pharaohs, including Tutankhamun and Rameses the Great, ruled. They left behind them a legacy of grandeur and opulence, immortalized in the treasures discovered in their tombs. After the fall of the New Kingdom, Egypt was conquered by a succession of foreign powers, including the Persians, the Greeks, and the Romans. Each left their mark on Egypt, contributing to the rich tapestry of its culture. In the modern era, Egypt has undergone profound changes. It has weathered the storm of colonialism, gained independence, and emerged as a key player on the global stage. Throughout it all, Egypt has retained its unique identity, a blend of ancient traditions and modern aspirations. In summary, Egypt's history is a journey through time, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. From the pre-dynastic period to the modern era, each chapter in its story is a piece of a puzzle that makes up the rich tapestry of its culture. This land where ancient wonders coexist with modern life is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. From the pyramids that touch the sky to the bustling streets of Cairo, each stone, each grain of sand, each face tells a tale of survival, of triumph, of a civilization that has weathered the sands of time to tell its story to those willing to listen. This is Egypt, the cradle of civilization. Closing. Thank you for joining this journey through time, through the heart of Egypt, the cradle of civilization. Until next time, remember, history is not just about the past, it's also about how it shapes our present and future. Have you ever wondered why the Nile River, the longest river in the world, has been such a lifeline for Egypt since ancient times? What is it about this mighty river that has shaped a civilization, its culture, and its history in ways that are unparalleled? The Nile, a river that stretches over 4,000 miles, has been the lifeblood of Egypt for centuries. Its significance can be traced back to the earliest of times when the ancient Egyptians settled along its fertile banks. It was the Nile's predictable flooding that created a surplus of crops, leading to the birth of one of the world's first great civilizations. The annual floods of the Nile brought more than just water. They also brought life. The nutrient-rich silt deposited by the floods made the Nile Valley one of the most fertile lands in the ancient world. To harness this bounty, the ancient Egyptians developed ingenious irrigation systems. They dug canals and ditches, creating a network of waterways that turned arid desert into lush farmland. This agricultural abundance allowed the ancient Egyptian civilization to flourish. But the Nile was more than just a means of sustenance for the ancient Egyptians. It held deep cultural and spiritual symbolism. In their mythology, the river was a divine entity, a life giver, and a pathway to the afterlife. Many of their deities were associated with the Nile, reflecting its central role in their lives. The river's importance is etched into the landscape of Egypt in the form of magnificent monuments, the Pyramids of Giza, the Sphinx, and the Temples of Luxor and Karnak stand as testament to the grandeur of a civilization that was nurtured by the Nile. These ancient wonders were not just architectural marvels but symbols of a society's achievements and aspirations. 
The Nile also shaped the concept of divine rulership in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs, seen as gods in human form, were believed to control the flooding of the Nile and ensure the prosperity of the land. Their rule and legacy, intertwined with the river, shaped the destiny of Egypt. So, in essence, the Nile River is not just a geographical feature. It is a thread that weaves through the fabric of Egypt's past and present. It is a lifeline that has nourished a civilization, influenced its culture, and shaped its history. It is a symbol of life, of abundance, and of the enduring power of nature. To truly understand Egypt, one must understand the Nile. From its role in agriculture to its influence on culture and religion, from the wonders it inspired to the rulers it empowered, the Nile is the heartbeat of Egypt. It is a testament to the fact that nature and civilization are deeply interconnected, each shaping the other in profound ways. The Nile, in all its grandeur and mystery, continues to flow just as it has for thousands of years. And as it flows, it carries with it the story of a civilization that has risen and thrived on its banks. A civilization that, despite the passage of time, continues to be defined by the river that runs through its heart. In conclusion, the Nile is more than a river. It is a lifeline, a symbol, and a story. It is, in every sense, the lifeblood of Egypt. Did you know that the Valley of the Kings and Queens, nestled in the heart of Egypt, is the final resting place of over 60 pharaohs? From the regal Tutankhamun to the celebrated Queen Nefertari, this ancient necropolis whispers tales of power, grandeur, and a civilization that continues to intrigue us even today. The story of the Valley of the Kings and Queens begins around 4,000 years ago, during Egypt's New Kingdom period. It was a time of prosperity and power, a golden age where pharaohs ruled with divine authority, but with great power came the inevitability of mortality, and so, they turned to the valley for their eternal rest. The valley, a barren desert scape, transformed into a city of the dead, a bridge between the terrestrial and the divine. The tombs, more than mere burial sites, were gateways to the afterlife. They were adorned with intricate hieroglyphics, vibrant murals, and filled with treasures, each designed to guide and provide for the pharaohs in their life after death. Among these tombs, the discovery of Tutankhamun's nearly intact tomb in 1922 triggered a global fascination with ancient Egypt. This young king, who ascended the throne at just nine years old, was laid to rest with a wealth of treasures that offered a glimpse into his life and reign. Another captivating tale from the valley is that of Queen Nefertari, the favorite wife of Pharaoh Ramses II. Her tomb, often referred to as the Sistine Chapel of Ancient Egypt, is a testament to her status and the love Ramses had for her. It is adorned with exquisite paintings depicting her journey to the afterlife, but the story of the valley is far from over. Even today, archaeologists continue to unearth secrets from this ancient necropolis, each discovery shedding light on Egypt's fascinating past. The allure of Egypt, however, extends beyond the valley. Along the Mediterranean coast lies the city of Alexandria, a testament to Egypt's Greco-Roman heritage. Founded by Alexander the Great, this city was once home to the Great Library, a beacon of knowledge that housed thousands of scrolls from across the ancient world. The fusion of Greek and Egyptian cultures during the Hellenistic and Roman periods gave birth to a unique blend of art, architecture and thought evident in Alexandria's magnificent structures and its vibrant culture. In summary, the Valley of the Kings and Queens offers a captivating journey through time, from the tombs of powerful pharaohs to the ongoing archaeological discoveries. Meanwhile, Alexandria stands as a symbol of cultural fusion and intellectual progress. These sites, steeped in history and mystery, continue to captivate us, inviting us to uncover the layers of a civilization that has shaped our world. The allure of Egypt, it seems, is truly timeless. Have you ever pondered how a city can be a living testament to the grandeur of an age-old civilization while simultaneously embodying the dynamism of modernity? Cairo, the heart of Egypt, is one such city, a place where the echoes of the Islamic Golden Age blend seamlessly with the rhythm of contemporary urban life. Our journey begins during the Islamic Golden Age, a period that spanned the 8th to the 14th century. This was an era of remarkable cultural and intellectual flourishing. 
Cairo, then known as al Qahira, was a beacon of this enlightenment. Scholars from around the globe flocked to the city's libraries and universities, enriching disciplines such as philosophy, mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. The city was an architectural marvel too. The Citadel of Saladin, a medieval Islamic fortification stands as an enduring symbol of Cairo's Islamic heritage. Constructed in the 12th century it's a testament to the advanced engineering and aesthetic sensibilities of the time. Equally captivating are the mosques of Cairo, with their ornate minarets piercing the sky, their interiors a symphony of intricate calligraphy and geometric patterns. As we traverse through time we find ourselves in the historic neighborhoods of Cairo. Islamic Cairo with its narrow alleyways and bustling souks is a living museum, preserving the essence of the city's rich past. Coptic Cairo on the other hand, tells a tale of religious diversity, with its ancient churches standing alongside Islamic landmarks. Fast forward to the present day and we find a city that has embraced the pace of urban life. Modern Cairo is a whirlwind of activity. The city pulses with energy from the bustling streets and vibrant markets to the inviting cafes and contemporary art scene. Yet in the midst of this dynamism, Cairo's past is never forgotten. Ancient landmarks coexist with modern infrastructure, creating a unique cityscape that is as much a tribute to history as it is a testament to progress. However, urbanization presents its own set of challenges. Overpopulation, environmental concerns, and the preservation of historical sites are all issues that Cairo grapples with. Yet these challenges also present opportunities. A chance to forge a path that respects the city's rich heritage while embracing the promise of the future. In summary, Cairo is a city that straddles two worlds. It cherishes its Islamic heritage, a legacy of the Islamic Golden Age, evident in its architectural wonders and historic neighborhoods. At the same time, it thrives in the throes of modern urban life, a vibrant metropolis that isn't afraid to confront contemporary challenges head-on. This is the essence of Cairo, a city where the past and present coalesce in a beautiful symphony of coexistence. Have you ever pondered the sheer magnitude of human ambition and ingenuity that led to the creation of the monumental Aswan High Dam? Or perhaps the extraordinary lengths taken to preserve ancient history, like the relocation of the Temple of Philae. Let's embark on a journey through time, starting with the mid-20th century, an era defined by monumental tasks and the reshaping of nature itself. The construction of the Aswan High Dam, a marvel of modern engineering, began in the early 1960s under the stewardship of Egypt's then-president, Gamal Abdel Nasser. This colossal structure, stretching across the Nile for nearly two miles and reaching a height of 361 feet, was built to control the Nile's yearly flooding, generate hydroelectric power, and provide water for irrigation. However, the building of the High Dam was not without its controversies. Environmental, social, and archaeological impacts were significant. The creation of Lake Nasser, one of the world's largest man-made lakes, led to the displacement of over 50,000 Nubian people and threatened to submerge ancient historical sites under its rising waters. One such site was the Temple of Philae, an architectural gem and a beacon of ancient civilization. Known for its exquisite carvings and hieroglyphs, the Temple of Philae was a center of the cult of the goddess Isis and a bastion of pagan worship well into the Christian era. In a race against time, an international campaign led by UNESCO was launched, the mission to save the threatened monuments of Nubia. The Temple of Philae was meticulously dismantled piece by piece and relocated to Agilkia Island, a higher ground, safe from the encroaching waters of Lake Nasser. This heroic feat of preservation ensured that the Temple of Philae would continue to share its stories with future generations. To summarize, the construction of the Aswan High Dam brought unprecedented control over the Nile providing numerous benefits such as hydroelectric power and irrigation water. However, it also posed significant challenges, including environmental changes and the displacement of local communities. The rising waters of Lake Nasser threatened ancient sites, prompting an extraordinary international effort to save and relocate monuments like the Temple of Philae. In this tale of human endeavor and preservation, we witness the remarkable balance between progress and the preservation of history, between harnessing the power of nature and respecting its boundaries. The story of the Aswan High Dam and the Temple of Philae serves as a testament to our capacity to create 
adapt and preserve a legacy that continues to inspire us today. Have you ever wondered why Egyptian cuisine carries such a rich variety of flavors and textures? Or perhaps, how the traditions of this ancient civilization have influenced their culinary arts? Today, let's journey through the heart of Egypt, uncovering the cultural significance of its cuisine and traditions. Egypt, a country that cradles one of the oldest civilizations, holds a rich tapestry of culture and traditions. But the essence of this vibrant culture truly comes alive in its cuisine. Egyptian cuisine, a melting pot of Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and African flavors, offers a gastronomic experience that is as diverse as its history. One of the most iconic dishes is kashari, a hearty blend of rice, lentils, pasta, and a spicy tomato sauce topped with crispy fried onions. This humble dish, often referred to as the national dish of Egypt, beautifully encapsulates the country's history of cultural exchange and adaptation. Equally popular and cherished are falafel and fool medames. Falafel made from fava beans or chickpeas is a staple in Egyptian households and street food stalls alike. Fool medames, a fava bean stew often eaten for breakfast, is a testament to the Egyptian love for simple yet flavorful food. But Egyptian cuisine is not just about the food. It's about the experience. It's about the tradition of communal dining, where meals are a time for families to come together, share stories, and create memories. The Egyptian hospitality, deeply rooted in their culture, is reflected in their generous servings and the warmth with which they welcome guests to their tables. Beyond the dinner table, Egypt's cultural heritage thrives in its traditional music, dance, and festivals. The rhythmic beats of the tabla, the expressive moves of belly dancing, and the grandeur of festivals like Sham el Nassim and Moulid all echo the vibrant spirit of Egypt. Language, too, plays a critical role in Egypt's cultural identity. Arabic, the official language, is not just a means of communication. It's a reflection of the country's rich history, its literature, and its people. Egyptian Arabic, a dialect distinct from modern standard Arabic, is woven into the daily lives of Egyptians, carrying in its cadence the warmth and hospitality of its people. So, what have we discovered today? Egyptian cuisine, with its diverse flavors and textures, is a reflection of the country's rich history and cultural exchange. Communal dining and hospitality lie at the heart of Egyptian traditions, turning meals into memorable experiences. Traditional music, dance, and festivals, along with the Arabic language, add to the vibrant tapestry of Egyptian culture. In the end, Egypt is not just a country of ancient pyramids and vast deserts. It's a country where culture, tradition, and cuisine come together to create a rich and vibrant tapestry that is as captivating as it is diverse. It's a country that welcomes you with open arms, inviting you to share in its rich heritage and savor its flavorful cuisine. It's a country that once experienced will forever remain in your Ever heart. Ever wondered what it feels like to stand at the foot of a pyramid and gaze up at the apex, a structure that has withstood the test of time for over 4,000 years? Welcome to Egypt, a country that is as enigmatic as it is enchanting. Begin your journey in Cairo, the pulsating heart of Egypt. Here the pyramids of Giza stand guard, their majesty undiminished by the passage of time. As you marvel at the Sphinx's inscrutable gaze, remember it's not just about ticking off a bucket list item, it's about stepping into a time machine. Back to when pharaohs ruled the land, yet the pyramids are just the beginning. Venture south to Luxor, often dubbed as the world's greatest open-air museum. The grandeur of the Karnak Temple Complex or the mystery of the Valley of the Kings where Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered will leave you in awe. And for those who yearn for the sea's soothing embrace, the Red Sea resorts offer coral reefs teeming with marine life. Whether you choose to dive in the crystal clear waters or simply lounge on the sandy beaches, the Red Sea coast promises a respite from the desert heat. Now, embarking on this journey requires some preparation. Ensure you have the necessary visa. Most nationalities can get one on arrival or apply online. Be mindful of the local customs and dress modestly, especially when visiting religious sites. Arabic is the official language, but English is widely understood in tourist areas. Getting around in Egypt can be an adventure in itself. From the ubiquitous black and white taxis of Cairo to the traditional felucas on the Nile, each mode of transportation offers a unique perspective. And don't forget to haggle. It's not just accepted, it's expected. Egyptian cuisine is a feast for the senses. Dive into a bowl of koshery, a hearty mix of pasta, rice, lentils, and chickpeas topped with a spicy tomato sauce. Or savor the flavors of malokia, a traditional soup made from jute leaves served with rice and bread. 
In summary, Egypt is more than just a destination. It's an experience that engages all your senses. From the timeless pyramids, the historical grandeur of Luxor, to the vibrant life under the Red Sea, Egypt offers a unique blend of ancient history and modern vibrancy. Remember, it's not just about the destinations, but also the journey. Be open to the experiences, respect the local customs, and immerse yourself in the rich culture. Because at the end of the day, that's what travel is all about. Experiencing something new and broadening your horizons. So thank you for joining this journey through Egypt, a cradle of civilization, where every grain of sand tells a story, a story that continues to captivate and inspire. Until next time, safe travels and happy adventures.